Welcome to the all I never did single play world, a place where we relax and learn how to become better Minecrafters. Behind me you can see the castle area where we will do some building today. To my left, Vildsvinis, which we capture from the nether last episode. He seems to be happy here as the new neighbor of Bone Jelly. But let's head over to the castle area. And man, that is one of those places where I don't seem to get any natural inspiration. Last time we were here, we built this tower. It's the collection area from the tree farm. And that was really fun and uh, rewarding once we got started. Even the interior here was uh, fun to build. But I haven't been back here since, really, except from using the tree farm. And I don't get natural inspiration to continue building. <laughs> so I think we need to force ourselves today as well. And my plan is to build two more towers, like this. One here and one over there. And let me tell you about the plans I had from the beginning of this series. We started to build here a long time ago, before I had made much progress. So three towers, three different kinds of roof was the plan. So you can see this first tower uses red nether brick mixed up with regular nether brick. And that was supposed to symbolize that we actually kind of conquered the nether, <laughs> or at least, you know, entered. The second tower was supposed to be built out of guardian temple material and the third tower from materials from the end. Let's have a nap. So even though we had conquered a guardian temple and entered the end a long time ago, I think we should still stick to the plan. And, yeah, just start building. Well, that was a lot faster than the first tower, but now all I needed to do was to copy the design. It doesn't look too bad, right? Might need some more detailing. So now it's time for the roof. And uh, I think I have material over at the Guardian, uh, the Guardian Farm to be. <laughs> I never actually finished that. Let's see if we can find the way. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Another unfinished project. We were here pretty recently. We wanted a guardian for our little bouncy feature at the renovated slime farm. Hey, I'm friendly. Let's see here. We have some of these. I would think Dark Prismarine should be maybe the main material. If we mix all these three up, maybe? Uh, how did you make Dark Prismarine? Okay, the shards and black dye. So we'll bring all of these then, I guess. There we have the bouncy <laughs> guardian. I think we have some insects here. Used to be able to get these through AFK fishing, but that's a thing of the past. Okay, hopefully this is enough. So let's study this roof for a bit and try to copy the design. It has been snowing up here. I'm going to mix the stairs evenly, but randomly, and see how that looks. 
Uh, kind of like we did with the tree farm tower. It won't look as chaotic, I think, though. Yeah, it's definitely random. Let's have a look from down here. <clears throat> I think I like it. My only objection would be that it might be too similar to the tree farm roof. But we'll build up the rest now. This is uh, kind of halfway done. I hope I have all the materials. I found some more in a chest in our main house there. But, uh, it's mostly the dark prismarine I'm worried about. Can we do it? Oh, beautiful. I'm actually completely out of dark prismarine. So maybe we can head over to the guardian temple and mine some more. Do we have... Yes, let's see. Impaling, this is what we want. Uh, let's see if we can find some right off the bat here. Oh, maybe this room. Perfect. I think this will get us through the... Oh! The tower roof. Oh, gold. Huh, I haven't looted this. Who should... No! Eat. <laughs> I'm being reckless. Here you can see a bit of the farm. It's just fence gates for now. We don't have room for the gold now. Let's just uh, grab some more dark prismarine and get out of here. Ooh, I have dolphin grace. <laughs> ah, no! They are falling down there, so it's kind of working. That's, that's cool. Can I get out here? Oh. Fly away, please! No! <laughs> I slept on the little island there, so... But how can I get my stuff? Let's go for it. We haven't got anything to lose. Yeah, this won't work. No, not a chance. Let's break the bed, of course, and then die. That will get us back in no time. Thank you. And we're back home. Frostwalker, that might be perfect, actually. Let's just run the first bit. New tower up there. I forgot to bring a weapon, but hopefully we can just run around and collect our stuff. Don't hit me. He hit me. <laughs> oh, they're all stuck in boats. It looks so funny. The problem is I must walk from the island every time because if you just land in the water, we won't have the frost walking effect. We have a weapon now, so maybe this will be a little easier. Oh, it just <laughs> destroyed the boat. Can they shoot through the ice? Ah, jeez. Items are despawning. What do we miss? Oh no. Elytra died. <laughs> Dang it. Don't. Don't. Oh no. Okay, new strategy. We are going in by boat. And hopefully we can just swoop by and pick everything up before we get killed. Put things in the chest maybe. This was a much better idea. <laughs> but get out, get out. Ow! Oh, my pick, my pick, my silk pick. The rest seem to have despawned. 
We lost some pants. These are just backup pants. The elytra. The sword. We can get new one. We got the dark prismarine. That's the most important thing of the day. Let's head into the sunset and uh, finish that tower. Okay, the roof is finished. Just time for the last touch. I think it's three blocks high here first. And then... One, two, two, three, four. And the warped fence on the very top there. And here's where the flag will be. So first a three by three. Then down and to the right, if we want to make it the same as that flag. And then again, three by three. And then down again, but this time back to the same line as before. And I think... One, two, three, one, two... One. I think that is how I made that one. Okay, let's have a look. Not bad. See the view from the courtyard. Yeah. View from over here. Nice. <laughs> that tower looks so much smaller, but uh, they are the same size. And one more view from over here. Yeah, I think it's a keeper. Oh, blocks. I would like to finish the third tower as well, before the episode is over. But first I want to show you something. If I was able to finish it in time, there should be some new music playing right about now. So I haven't really announced this, but I have set up channel memberships. And I haven't got a clear plan with it yet, but hopefully that could progress naturally as the community grows. I happened to mention it to a long time follower, which is also my friend and server buddy, Paragraph8, who gave me the idea for the pig train over there. So he's my first member, and you might have seen his name in the intro or outro titles. Hmm, let's see. I'm imagining a road up here. Maybe like this. In a single player world, diamonds aren't as useful as on a multiplayer server, where you often use it to buy items or services. So I'm thinking we could use diamond blocks for the members. So Para has been a member for two months, so he'll get two diamonds. So for every month, a new diamond block. How does this... Look, mm, not quite right. Something with a bit more color, I think. This is too boring. Yes, yeah, so if you want your own diamond block here, <laughs> you can become a member. And you can cancel after one month if you just want one diamond block here. And I'm thinking after one year, this block will change out for a netherite block. Huh? Maybe if we borrow the color palette from our last tower roof. <laughs> Maybe. Let me know if you have any ideas. I started on the road design here as well. Might be a bit too much stone. But if we, for instance, add some stripped wood with uh, iron bars, like we have down here, 
Yeah, we'll see. It's just fun to kind of start to set this up. But let's build up that last tower. That didn't take long. I'm getting the hang of the tower building now. So now it's time for the end roof. And I'm thinking instead of placing the materials randomly, like especially these two roofs, we will do something a bit more organized. So four stripes of end stone or end stone bricks and the rest purple blocks. Hopefully that will look nice. Hold your thumbs. I kind of get some entertainment or, you know, clown <laughs> vibe almost. I'm not sure why. We could break it up a bit randomly as well. Or just add more endstone in an organized way. But I think we'll keep it like this for now. It's nice to have the contrast between the roofs. That they are not the same pattern. And, you know, it's so much work left to be done here in the castle area. And I feel really inspired now. But I know the next time we will get back to this project, there will be some sort of resistance again to continue building. I will have to push myself like I did in the beginning of this episode. Do you ever feel the same way? But anyway... I hope you feel relaxed. Thank you for being with me in this episode of All I Never Did. And I'll see you next time.